an article that came out July 2018 in governing.com. And as you know, crime has been dropping steadily actually in the black community. And it is a lot safer in urban areas than it is in rural America now. Rural America has suffered a lot of job loss and you know they are hit exceptionally hard with the opioid plague. So now they're saying those are the two biggest reasons why crime is going through the roof in rural America. And another thing that you need to know right now, there are more incarcerations occurring in rural America than in urban America. So let's get into this article. In rural America, violent crime reaches highest level in a decade. And it's actually bad in the states where it has the highest white population. When you think about crime, what do you picture? Probably uh, dark and scary streets of a crowded city. After all, cop shows always seem to be set in big cities. But while violent crimes is still a problem in urban areas, many of them are now, in fact, safer than they've been in decades. The violent crime rate in rural areas, meanwhile, has climbed above the national average for the first time in 10 years. In Iowa, the overall violent crime rate rose by 3% between 2006 and 2016, but shot up by 50% in communities with fewer than 10,000 residents. Violent crime rates have doubled in rural counties in West Virginia over the past couple of decades while tripling in New Hampshire. And if you remember from many of the stories I did on New Hampshire, they are struggling bad with an opioid plague up there. Rural areas which traditionally have had lower crime rates have seen dramatic increases in incarceration rates, said Jacob King Brown, a senior research associate with the Vera Institute of Justice. We see them now having the highest incarceration rates in the country. Did you hear that? The rural areas, ladies and gentlemen, now have the highest incarceration rates in the country, not the urban areas. Let's go on. The explanations for this change are familiar ones. Not all rural areas are poor, but many have lost jobs as factories have closed and farming has become increasingly consolidated. Lack of employment has naturally led to increases in poverty, which is closely associated with crime. How many times have we said that in the black community and we were told we were inherently violent? Remember, the, the rural areas now have the highest incarceration rates, ladies and gentlemen. The opioid plague has hit rural America particularly hard and methamphetamines remain a major problem in many small towns. While there are more rural crime than in the past, there is also a shortage of law enforcement. Dwindling tax bases mean fewer sheriff deputies doing the work. As a result, deputies have to patrol many times the geographic area than a city cop covers on his beat. Last year, voters in Josephine County, Oregon, approved public safety levy after five previous attempts have failed in as many years. Prior to its passage, there were times when large parts of the county, which have been hit hard by a declining in timber in the timber industry, received no service from the sheriff's office. Residents would have to wait two to three hours for a response from state police. That is shocking. That is shocking. So rural areas, because they have been so badly hit, 
they can't even afford to have a, a sheriff's deputy anymore. Wow. Now, I heard of that happening in the black neighborhood, but I had no idea that's happening in rural areas. You know, sometimes they, there were times when certain parts of urban areas, if you called the police, they didn't even bother showing up. Lack of enforcement naturally breeds crime. Criminals, particularly and those dealing in drugs, become emboldened or move operations to areas where there's little danger of detection. Even when perpetrators are caught, there's not always a place to put them. Before the Josephine County levy passed, the sheriff's office could afford to fill only half the beds at its jail. Whether it's law enforcement or crime analytics, or investigation capacity or behavioral capacity. On all those fronts, rural areas have less resources available than urban areas. As Marshall Clement of the Council of State Government Justice Center, it's good that the problems of rural America have been getting more attention over the past couple of years because they're at a risk of starting to compound and create new ones. So they're having a terrible time with crime and getting enough police response in those areas. Who knew the rural area would be lacking law enforcement hmm. and have the highest incarcerations in the country now? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you all on the next video. Peace family.